NIA BTEC Sport Level 2. Uh, I'm here today with my colleague uh, Miss Hughes. Today we're going to be looking at the sergeant jump test and the vertical jump test. Uh, this tests the uh, anaerobic power of the participant. So, uh, the protocol. Uh, uh, Miss Hughes, if you can stand close, 15 centimetres from the wall and reach up as high as you can. That's it. Make sure they're quite close to the wall so it's an accurate measurement. Excellent. Okay, and relax. Okay, so you're going to two feet on the floor, you're going to bend your knees 90 degrees, and you're going to try and jump as touch the wall as high as you can. Okay, excellent. So that's 39 centimetres. We're going to do it once more. Okay, 41 centimetres. Well done. I'm going to go a third and final time. Excellent. Uh, 40 centimetres. So your best score was there was 41 centimetres. This is normally measured, as you can hear, in centimetres. The advantage of this, it's quick and easy, as you can see, and it's also cheap. If you don't have one of these, you can make uh, a mark on the wall with your hand, and then jump and make a further mark higher up, and then measure the difference. The disadvantage of this, that it only measures the power in your lower legs. And it also means that your technique has to be the same for all three jumps. The validity of the test does actually test power, but again, only test power in your lower part of the body. The reliability of the test is the technique. Um, as you can see there, Miss Hughes' technique was quite good, but then if we were to test it again a few weeks down the line, the technique would have to be exactly the same.